Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 ha, are you here? Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Flemish Advent Calendar. And we are going to do something really fun today. This is a really cool exercise where you have to remember a lot of calculus one stuff, analysis one stuff. So we want to show that for all values S and T out of the real numbers, you can probably also expand this to the complex numbers. We have that e to the s plus t is the same as e to the s times e to the t. And for this, I would like to take a look at this side using the pure definition of the exponential functions in terms of their Taylor series expansion, Maclaurin series expansion. We have talked about this before. So we know that e to the s times e to t is nothing but an infinite sum from n equals to zero to infinity of, well, s to the nth power over n factorial times a sum right here running from, I don't know, k equals to zero to infinity, t to the nth power uh, to the kth power in this case, over k factorial. And you see, now we have something really ugly. We have the product of two sums. We can use something called the Cauchy product, but only if those two converge absolutely, those two series. And for this, we are just going to take a look at the ratio test. So let's take a look at one of those. And well, I'm going to tell you, this is absolutely convergent, but we have to test it. So let's say this argument right here is our a n, a little sequence in there. And we have the ratio test telling us that the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a n plus one over the absolute value of a n. If this thing right here is going to be less than one, well, then it's going to converge absolutely. So why not plug our a n plus one and a n in and see what we get. So this is nothing, but I'm going to refer to this limit as just capital L right now. We are going to have x to the n plus one power over n plus one factorial over x to the n power over n factorial absolute values. You can just distribute those absolute values on the whole fraction right here. It's multiplicative, so you can do this. And you are going to notice that x to the nth power, and this right here is going to cancel out to an x up here. And down here you are going to have, well, n factorial and n plus one factorial is going to cancel out to an n plus one. Well, n plus one is going to be strictly positive, so the absolute value doesn't really affect it. That's already good. And you see, we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity. This is going to go to zero for all values of x. So this is going to go to zero. Let's put it that way. And this right here is definitely less than one, meaning this series down here, both series converge for all values of x. Absolutely. Meaning we can use the so-called Cauchy product. Let's take a look at the Cauchy product. So if we have a sum, from n equals to zero to infinity of some a n, and we have a sum from k equals to zero to infinity of b k, Burger King right here. Well, the, the Cauchy product, we can use it if both of those series absolutely converge. Then we have a sum running from n equals to zero to infinity times the sum running from k equals to zero to n of, now we have a k with this index k right now instead of n times b, n minus k. This is what we are going to have. You can prove this by just taking a look at all the members of those series right here and just take the diagonal parts and it's just going to turn out to be this right here. So what does this Cauchy product mean in terms of what we have right here? Well, we are going to end up with on the one hand the sum running from n equals to zero to infinity times the sum running from k equals to zero to n in this case. And now we have this with respect to k now. So s to the kth power over k factorial times this with respect to n minus k now. So t to the n minus kth power over n minus k factorial. And I want you guys to remember two other facts from calculus one, anal analysis. <laughs> At first we have, well, the binomial coefficient right here or whatever it's called in English. We have n over k being nothing but n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. You might know this. And also we have the binomial theorem stating that if we have a plus b to the nth power, we are going to end up with the 
sum running from k equals to 0 to n. This is already good because we have this right here of n over k. And then we have a to the nth power, b to the n minus k power. Those are just facts you might have heard before, but, but this is really good. So this right here looks already really similar to what we have here. All that's really missing is n over k. How could we get that? Well, that's multiplicative. So why not advance this whole fraction right here by n factorial over n factorial? And you see, this part right here is going to be our n over k. And I'm going to write everything out now. So this is nothing but a sum running from n equals to 0 to infinity. Now, big brackets right here. Sum running from k equals to 0 to n of. Now we have n over k by what we just get it. And then we have s to the kth power, t to the n minus kth power, closing off the brackets, times 1 over n factorial. And this right here is exactly the really, really cool part. This is nothing but, well, s plus t to the nth power by our binomial theorem that we have just derived. So this right here is now nothing but infinite sum running from n equals to 0 to infinity of s plus t to the nth power over n factorial. And this right here, just like before, it's just the definition of the exponential function where this right here is just the exponent. So this is just e to the s plus t. And then we are done. I think this exercise is really cool. I had to deal with this a few days ago because I'm taking functional analysis right now and I had to prove this statement right here but with a little um, linear bounded operator up here. I thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this new episode of Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar, then please consider subscribing. Don't forget to activate the bell button, share those videos everywhere. <sighs> you know the rest I'm going to say. Watching me is already a great support. Up until the next video, have a... Let's do something cool today, once again. Have an ugly looking folder day. <laughs> See ya.